Hi, I'm Mike Haddock, and I just finished this tile job. And the reason I'm doing this video is because I'm doing it over the top of block work. So I'm going to show you how I did it. Now this is the job we have to copy. This is the tile that was laid 40 years ago. And we built an addition here out of block. And I let this block, I did this block a month ago because block work shrinks and you got to make sure it's uh, set for a while. And we're going to do the tile work over it. I'm going to show you how I did it. Now the first thing I do is I lay it out dry, right against the ground. Then I know where all my tiles are going to go this way. Now what I'm doing here is I'm laying this out dry. This is for the window. Because I want to see how it's all going to work out before I start putting it on the, on the wall. I always do that. Laying it out dry is a big deal. Here's another thing I do all the time is I make myself a story pole. And this story pole, I make all my marks, tells me where my tile is going to end up. I use that story pole. All right, this is what I do with a story pole. It tells me where all my tiles are going to end up. So I know when I get to the top, everything's going to come out perfect. So that's the use of the story pole. As I put a chalk line here, exactly where my marks are. It doesn't always have to be perfectly level because i got to make my heights to the windows. Then I put a straight edge board right even with that line. What I'm doing is I'm laying my first tile right here. Now this is the name of the mortar I am using. And that's what I am using for the inside. This is an inside job. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the sides on and I use a straight edge. The straight edge tells me that my tiles are straight. Okay? If the next tile it has to come in up against it. That now right here we're laying a tile and you see right here the big space between here because when you're doing block work it's impossible to keep block straight because blocks come in all different sizes believe it or not they could be almost a quarter inch a piece different so that's why you have to I always double face the thin set when I'm doing it to make sure I, I fill all those holes in and then I'm filling that hole in and then I run my trowel through it this way. So then when I'm putting my tile in, there's no uh, opening behind the tile. It's all kind of filled in. You have to plan ahead with block work. Uh, that's one of the reasons I'm doing this video. If you remember, I put a line, a straight line going here, and I'm laying these tiles last. And it's because the concrete floor usually goes like this. Now I'm, I'm putting my grout in, and I put it in, and I'm making sure that I get it inside those joints deep, because it was deep because of the black work, and I double faced the, the tile. Okay, once it gets a little filmy, I just get my sponge with a little water and I sponge it up. Go over my seams good. And I'm kind of straightened out like that. After we sponge it, we just take our little 
rubber glove like that and we smooth it over and that smooths it out real nice and pretty. And all we do is get a rag and kind of buff it out at the very end when there's no wetness left. That shines that up real good. Now what happened to me one time was I was doing a tile job and I used a combination thin set and grout. And a couple weeks later it all fell apart. So what I do anymore is I get a little piece of uh, thin set and I put it in the water and I wait till tomorrow to see if it's going to get hard underwater. Now when I take, take it out the next day, if it's still hard, it uh, dried underwater. So that's what I'm looking for. I have to go over tile, and this is a block tile. In other words, it's a block with a tile face on it. We're going to put another tile over it. So what I like to do. That's one way just to scar it up so I know that tile sticks. I'm going to put a test tile here and I, I get the sponge and make sure it's damp first. I'm going to put a test tile in here. I want to make sure it gets in those grooves good. Then I put a test tile here. Okay, we put this on yesterday. That's how we know that the tile stuck. That's how we know how the tile stuck. All right, we're putting a transition here between the block and the wood. So what we want to do to make sure that that doesn't leave an opening, I use a net, you see? I use a net, and this little net right there will see that little net in there. That's gonna uh, keep that crack from cracking. Then when I put my tile on right here, I don't have to worry about that crack showing up again. Okay, the point I want to make about putting this tile on was there's no right and wrong way to do tile work. What I was trying to do, especially since it's a commercial job, was make sure it sticks to the wall. There's a lot of vibration in the building. These were the bulldozers, so that's what I had to work with. But when I do a tile job, I just want to make sure I have a big piece on the bottom. When I get to the top, I have a big piece. I don't want little pieces because I have such a big tile. But that's just my style. Every tile guy is different. So that's how I do a tile job over.